Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And we've got something special for you today, and that is a haul from the Disney Store in Tokyo and Kyoto, Japan. Yeah, it's super kawaii. Yes, I am super excited to share all this stuff with you. They had some blind boxes that... I had never seen. I don't know if they are specifically sold there. Mm -hmm. um, and I also got some really cool other Disney merch from a 50% off store, which was amazing. Yeah, and so if you don't know, Derek went on a trip to Japan a couple of weeks ago from when you were watching yeah. this, um, or when this is being posted, and he got to travel with how many? Students? About 30 students. Um, it was surprisingly fun though. I'm it, sure. We had, it it's was scary. It was just scary, you know, <laughs> just being in another country that I don't speak the language and being like, whoo, all the time. Um, he did not kids. get to go to the parks because I would never allow that. But. I wouldn't even go close to them. In fact, I do have friends that went and I told them, have a good time. Yeah. Cause, with that face yeah because that would have been the last place he saw had he come back yeah but he did find some great disney stores I there's did. an amazing store in shibuya it is a castle it looks like this here while i was there i just stood there in shock and i didn't take my own picture so i just it's a beautiful store. <laughs> um, it is also very close to the Nintendo store and Pokemon Center, mm -hmm. which was right down the street. That's Super cool. cool. Um, but I found a couple mystery boxes. So this first one is a secret magnet, and it is going to be one of those five things there. So it could be a Mickey waffle. It could be eggs and bacon with the Mickey-shaped um, sunny side up egg. It could just be a sunny side up egg, Mickey. It could be a Mickey chocolate chip muffin, or it could be one of those things. <laughs> I assume that's a Japanese breakfast item. I I honestly don't know. It looks like it's an egg on top of what I will is. tell you. In Japan, breakfast was not like our breakfast, so. I don't know. We also have uh, these adorable looking Donald Duck secret charms. Um, yeah, they don't show um, on top, yeah. but what they have in them are these really cool charms. Um, you will find that in Japan, they just, everything is so cute and attachable to like your bags. Yeah. So there are- There's a chance of Daisy, right? Five, yes, there's five different things. There is Donald, and I actually saw the number six on top or on the side, and I'm learning that that normally means how many are in the series. Oh. So there may be a chase that is not that was not on display. Interesting. Um, and so there was a Donald, there was a Daisy, there was a Huey, Dewey, and a Louie. And they were kind of like a rubberized character. That's super cool. Yeah. Um, so it is a secret charm. I can't wait to find out if we got Daisy or I guess Huey, Dewey, or Louie for you. Um, yeah, I I love the green one. Dewey, I'm rather certain. I love him so much. Um, the next thing are these really adorable looking, um, secret straps. Which basically means it's another way to hang something on your backpack. It's that Lotso for me. I <laughs> do love the Lotso, but you can see there is a Chip and a Dale, and I would die to have Chip and Dale. They're so cute. We bought two of... Two of, two of everything except the magnet. Mm -hmm. um, the last thing we have to show off is one of my favorite things, I think. Um, so we have these key rings here, and attached to them, they are embroidered cats. Yes. At this store, the first store I went to in Shibuya, they did not have this on display. They only had some of the other things. And the second Disney store I went to in Kyoto, so they sure had the there. on display. And that's when I realized that they were embroidered, yeah. which made me even happier. Um, just to your point, there's an eight up here, which is... Oh yeah, throughout. I was about to say, most of the numbers have matched things, so I think that that may have a secret um, chase. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one, there's eight different cat options. You've got Dinah, you've got Lucifer, you have got that cat from Pinocchio that we looked up. His name is Gideon. Um, you've got Figaro, 
uh, Berlioz, right? Good job. Cheshire, Marie, and Toulouse. Yes. Um, obviously, we love pretty much all of these. We don't love Gideon, but I really want Dinah. Um, I would also be happy with Cheshire Cat or Lucifer. Yeah. So these um, just wanted to share because I found it so intriguing, the pricing in Japan and the quality that goes along with it. Um, this cost 880 yen, which I um, calculated earlier into about $6.20. And for a blind bag, and for the quality that I remember seeing in the case, mm -hmm. that's a steal. Oh. That is a steal. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, you, he brought back a couple of different things that we've peeked at, obviously. Um, and this one, if, if it's the embroidery, like what I've seen in some of the other items that we've gotten to look at there, it's so cool. This embroidery stuff that they do there is so, so cool. high it's quality. So high quality and pretty and detailed. So that's exciting. But we are not going to open these yet. We are going to open those at the end. So please stay tuned because we have some other things, including this Aladdin mystery set that we already opened. <laughs> um, we are looking for this Jafar and we have to trade for it this genie with the lips given the smooch look to aladdin and i equate this to one of the he can't make people fall in love this pin has actually traveled all the way here from japan so if you have that jafar one and would like to trade for a pin that's all the way from japan it traveled multiple hours through multiple airports and multiple five hour layovers let us know or if you have jafar and you're looking for something else that's cool too yeah you know thanks so i went um crazy with gotcha balls um if you are unfamiliar you've probably seen them on tv or in a movie or just somewhere you they even have apps they like that you can download and do the gotcha machine it's, it's it, so cool so it's like gambling basically but you get something every time yeah and our obsession with blind boxes had kind of fueled my obsession with these machines and they range from about 200 yen to about 5 yen. Mm -hmm. So all under $5, like $4 at the most, and US dollars. So you put them in, you turn it, and you get your little ball. And I did a couple that were Disney, and I already have them open. So we are just going to share with you what they were. And the first one is kind of scary. This Mickey, I don't know. There, I have some, we have something else in this style as well, but it's cuter on the other stuff. <laughs> so Mickey's looking kind of janky. Um, I don't know if it's just a cool style that they decided they were going to try or not, but hey, he's here in America now. Yeah, this, uh, on the packaging, there, this animation style, we have some other items you'll see later, but there's a daisy in it that's really cute. There was a daisy that was possible, and usually in all of these, it was because there was either daisy available or Chippendale available because Japan loves them. And even the Donald in this collection is so he is. cute. You'll see it later, but he looks like Gudetama. And there's a really cute version of him, but we'll, you will see that in a little bit. This next one is from a set that had a lot of breakfast food items and this one is dale holding a piece of butter that is heart shaped and it does say chip and dale on the top and you can tell it's butter actually because there is this detail here in it where it's like, like melting on the side down. it's really cute so the rest of the set i'm pretty sure had chip holding butter as well maybe he had a thing of like a jug of syrup i can't remember mm -hmm. but there was also like a mickey and a minnie sitting down to eat and then there were chases of mickey and minnie with like holding a waffle i think they both had the same like mickey waffle interesting over their heads it was they were super cute and i got one that i wanted yeah that's really cool and then out of the next one was teacups and it was all the same Always those seven or six. I think this one did not have Daisy. Mm -hmm. This one was a six one, but Chip and Dale were included. And I got Dale. Mm -hmm. And it is the most adorable teacup that um, I probably will not use as a teacup. But um, paper clips on my desk easily can go in that. Or mm -hmm. pin backs, mm -hmm. maybe like after like one set of unpinnings that would fit. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So many pin bags. 
So the next thing we have to show you, it is this adorable little Disney princess snack pack that Derek brought back for me. Hey, um, Ryan, do you want to admit to something? There were strawberry ones and I already ate them. And, and these are these have already been tasted too. Yeah, they're but, really good. But hey, we left some to show you. <laughs> yeah, we have here. Um, apparently, they all the boxes were not the same. So this was an Aurora specific box. You didn't even know that this Aurora. No, I just saw it. Aurora in the center of it and and grabbed. And there were a couple others. So now that I there's a bingo card. Oh, and you can get them all to check to it's see if game. you have all the prints. So everything seemed to be so individualized over there. So I wouldn't be surprised. Like everything was a buy this one, buy the other one. Everything was a different edition with the same stuff. Like blind boxes almost. Yeah, these bingo cards. Everything was about collecting. That's actually what's printed on the little cookies inside. I will show you because I am going to. Uh, oh, you have you, had, and you play bingo with those. Yeah, it's the faces of the print. Oh. Um, if you have ever had the panda version of these that we actually have here, um, so I assume in most of the U.S., um, we get them at Costco. And I, they're delicious. These are similar, but... It just sorry. blows my mind. Look how much those cost in U.S. dollars. $1.55. $1.55. And they are better quality than the panda ones that they have here. So the cookie on them is actually better. It is bigger. Um, but the actual, like, printing on them, these are actually, like, really pretty art. I mean... They are. Cinderella's definitely had her lips done there, but it's still very detailed printing. <laughs> and then I really enjoy the bag as well. I love good packaging. And they really do win with this packaging on this cheap little box of candy that they made. Love it. That they just put that much effort into the smallest things. They're delicious. The strawberry was better. The strawberry, the, yeah, the strawberry ones were so good. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not here. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to take one more of those for the road. Same. Wait, you didn't even show who you had. Oh, I forgot. Well, this one's Cinderella holding a shoe. So, I think the coolest thing is not only are they different prints of the princesses, but like, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, this Rapunzel faked me out. I thought this Rapunzel I had was... Was it with her chopped hair? Yeah, that's oh, what it that's looks what like. I thought it... It's not. It just ends and her oh. hair stops. But it looks like her chopped hair. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've seen Cinderella holding her slipper. There's another one of just her face. Yeah, that's the one I ate with her lips earlier. And then there's some that just say their names on them with like an outline. All that, not really that important, but very detailed and very cute and very Japan. I just... That's why we love it. So, while I was in Japan, it happened to be the 30th anniversary of Disney Tokyo. And I feel like there's always some sort of anniversary going on, whether it is like the 50th we just had straight into 100 years. Mm -hmm. There's what, well, you know, there. it gives us great merchandise, though. That's what I like yeah, about it's it. It's a great way for them to keep getting our money. Truly. It was 50th anniversary. Now it's 100th anniversary the very I next know, year. I know. And they're like, here. How? <laughs> why don't you all rebuy these movies and they come with exclusive pins? I mean, I have researched and I understand how, but it is a lot for them to <laughs> very They, they right time after things the very episode. well, though, because they know that when they roll a movie out every year, they can claim a 25th anniversary almost every couple of things. Like, well, that's cool, but let me tell you who is not tempted by any of the stuff that c just because it says 100th anniversary. This guy, because I just bought a bunch of stuff that said 50th anniversary. Yeah, I'm the good. 100th I'm good. <laughs> the 100th I'm good. But let's talk about the 30th <laughs> at Japan. So, in Japan, we do have the 30th going on, and they had these commemorative postcards, and they are sort of, not really lenticular, but they have that awesome, um, app, what do you, what would you call that? Um, it's holographic. Holographic, thank you. It is just the most beautiful rainbow that this camera really likes to pick up. Yeah, it's a happy pride, baby. Happy pride from socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Socks is amazing. Um, we also have this beautiful Pocahontas that he found for me. Um, it is our girl Pocahontas and Miko and Flit and Percy, who I love, is getting some inclusion. I think recently they've really been giving Percy. He has been getting a lot of love, and 
It's good. It's not his fault that he's like, owned by that horrible man. I feel man. like it's hard to make a lot of um, flit merchandise and that they usually lean towards Percy and um, Miko because they're big, like they're bigger creatures. And so merchandise of like a small little hummingbird just looks too big. He's sometimes. my favorite Disney bird. I don't know, but he he's the only bird you probably like. No, I like Daisy. Oh, and she's a duck. Okay. Real birds. Real ducks. Nada. Gross. So, earlier, those cookies I was eating, they were not from the Disney store. They were from a small, um, and when I say small, it was actually kind of giant candy shop <laughs> that I was going through and happened upon them. In the same building, they had an amazing 50% off store that was filled with Disney merchandise, Cartoon Network merchandise, anim all kinds of anime stuff, anything you could think of. I got the most adorable Pokemon um, change purse because all of their money is mostly coins. What I found, Disney-wise, was also amazing. We're going to start with this really cute, and what I love most about it is that it's insulated. Oh, that's cool. Um, it is a oh, yeah, Chippendale... And it is made for um, a sensible portion of ice cream. How about that color is like the color <laughs> is made. And that's why, can I tell you, I passed up on a couple of other items because they didn't have it in Chip and Dale. Mm -hmm. They had a thing that you could hold and put your Starbucks cup into like your, oh, that was your, that color. your grande or tall cup would go in it. But I wasn't sure that our Starbucks cups match. Uh, and then, of course, later I went to Starbucks, and they do, but they um, they had those. But this was just the cute, and it was also able to fit in my in my suitcase. Yeah, that's cool. And it was on like the first day of shopping when I was like, I can fit everything. He also brought back these incredible stickers that, to be honest with you, I've been looking into a lot. I haven't exactly figured out, but um, they are at the top. There's they're called tracing paper for a reason, and I think that that's significant. And I'll show you why in a second, but. Um, it is Aurora, Maleficent, and the Fairies. And these are basically like color swatches um, of all the colors used for this. So I am leaning toward believing that these are used to help to guide people in drawing. If you look here on the back, there it's a step-by-step -step process in Japanese. But right here, it appears that they are on tracing paper, on grid paper. Um, so maybe you can use the stickers to trace the outline and then use the colors for inspiration to draw them. But they are actual stickers and you can see uh, they're using them to put on envelopes and use. I love this. I honestly can't. I He got me two so I can use one of them, I guess. But this one is not going to be opened up. It's too cool. So what I love is that I just used Google Translate. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Um, to find out that there's actually some really cool information on here. And of course, it is never going to be 100% correct. Um, at the top there in Japanese, over tracing paper, it says color sample book, which it's all of the, the samples of mm -hmm. the, of the um, like swatches of their colors. Yeah. Um, and then it names the colors. So, like, you've got um, cadmium, yellow, nail pink, shadow blue, rose red, deep orchid pink, and powder pink for okay. the top. And then um, gargoyle, lavender, and calestamon. That's the red one with them, um, or kind of pinkish one for Maleficent. And mm -hmm. her second one is Chrysobel cat's eye ash and blue amber so this seems very much like pantone color yeah it's very and i and that if you know anything about me that is what i'm the biggest nerd for is colors and i mean history and names of colors we literally just bought tickets to go to the the color it's not the color museum what's color called factory the color factory yeah um i have books on this i want to name my children based on things i've read about colors um i actually the one i showed you before is i realized the one we opened up so it's not um lined up exactly but if you look here you can actually see that they're lined up with like yeah yeah. The name, so that's what Derek was translating. Um, it's just really cool. I would like this for every aspect of my life, just a Pantone color book. 
One of my favorite things about this store was that they had so many things and I had to come through it multiple times and my friend was with me and we started realizing what the other one was hunting for. And at one point, um, she would just go, Derek, you need to buy this. And I would go, yeah, I do. And this was one of those items and it happened multiple times. But this one, I just couldn't do without. It says, I'm nuts about you. Chip and Dale, and they've got Donald on there as well. Um, at the bottom, it says Little Chipmunk, and on the back, it has the cutest animation of them. I love. That's my favorite part. There they are. What are they carrying? Cute. Um, it looks like one of them has a purple peanut, and the other one has, like, um, maybe seaweed. That's cute. This next thing is uh, one of my favorite finds of Derek's. Uh, it is an Alice pouch. I love pouches and bags and boxes. Um, specifically pouches, though. There's something so precious about... Did we did we open this one up? Because we have discovered that a lot of these pouches actually have dividers in them as well. Um, we have not opened and it, but this one is transparent. So I don't it's think transparent. So. It's the holographic moment up top for yes. me. Yes. That's the best part. Does um, this one have a divider in yeah. it? It does not. It is just... It's gorgeous, though. And it's I don't perfect. know how well the camera picks it up. The... Um, this is all glitter outlining. Okay, is it picking that up? No, it's not right. Kind of right, it's like in the up. shimmer. Oh, there you go. There yeah. you go. Um, it's all done in that same kind of like glitter vinyl. With her name back here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I love this bag. Um, and obviously, I'm an Alice Stan. That is his pencil pouch. <laughs> For my pencil. And this is my pencil pouch. I got one that said Naughty Twins, Chip and Dale, <laughs> and let's see, um, we've got I'm Much Fun, You're Nuts, Little Chipmunk, and I just adore it. They are so cute. I had a, f my friend said, oh, does Dale always have a red nose? <laughs> and I was like, that's actually always like how you tell them apart. But I didn't realize Dale always had the buck teeth. That was news to me from these. I think oh, yeah. when looking at these, I was like, oh. This next find was an absolute must. Not only did I fall in love with Japan because they love Chippendale, I found the most perfect Chippendale Rescue Rangers cup. And it is the perfect size for a perfect drink. And it's got air bubbles in it. And it's got Monstera all over it. The style of it makes it appear very vintage, like it actually is from the time that that show was on. And I really, I, I agree. It's just so, it feels so 90s to yeah. me. This I will actually be using as a cup and not for pinbacks. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize their signatures were on it. Too. Yes. Um, I don't know if it's the Dale signature. It's just written as Chippendale. Oh. Because Dale has very bad handwriting in his official signature. Oh. Um, so Derek also was able to find this incredible stationery. So this is the animation we were talking about earlier. Um, I will start by showing you this amazing, this is an envelope. So there you put the address and there is Mickey and Donald. It says friendship. Um, that Mickey is scary, but the Donald is cute. Right? Um, I don't love this version of Mickey. It's kind of like the Pluto in the yeah. um, real, well, real, real on the back, really. though, that's what kind of makes up a little bit for it. They're yeah, super, he's super cute, cute there. there. I mean, the whole envelope is cute, just the Mickey's a little scary. The next envelope is one of my favorite styles, and it's a vertical envelope. Um, so this one just says Mickey and Friends, but it's got many more friends than the last one. As you can see, we've got Daisy there, pretty much front and center. We've got the, what Ryan called earlier, the, um, the Gudetama version of, of oh, Donald. It's my favorite. It, pr yeah, pretty much there. Look at that Mickey still, those just are a little scary to me, but the nicer ones, those are cute. I mean, you know, they do have, and it's, I think that these are, specific to japan because mm -hmm. of they also have like the lines under their eyes it seems like japan different. style yeah animation. it's very japan style animation and i would be curious if they had any cartoons in this style so there's also this amazing um stationery in here so this one just has the four lined up at the bottom looking real cute um at the top you see there it says 
Side by side is the only way friends travel. That's really cute. This next one is one of my favorite kinds. It's got graph paper on it, but we've got up top Mickey and Donald that says friendship, and down at this side there they are sleeping again. It's really cute. So this is my favorite, I believe, of the uh, stationery. Here is Mickey and Friends. So right up here in this corner, we have got Mickey. He is crying. Makes him a little less intimidating. Um, over here on the side, we have Gudetama Donald. We've got the cutest Daisy and this adorable Minnie. Um, down here, actually, if you take a quick look at this in the corner, it says... Cameo Japan Inc. Yeah, Disney Cameo Japan Inc. So I believe these are exclusive. So yeah, these were at least printed in Japan, which makes me feel like it's exclusive to yeah, there. I, cool. um, and I will say, I went into a um, arcade, and so many of them say for use in Japan only. Like mm -hmm. they they have games that they will not share, and Good they were them. some amazing games. Good for Loved them. them. The last one though just says this is a really like traditional style, and I love the um, it's more of like a gray kind of stripe at the top that says Mickey and Friends. The and is in red, and then at the bottom you get cute little Mickey and Minnie, and that's probably the cutest that he is in this whole set. Yeah. Other than sleeping with Donald. And the crying one. He's really cute when the he cries. Cry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These next two items also are not from the Disney store. However, they are Disney merchandise. And I happened to find them in a bullet train station bookstore. And I kind of fell in love. And this first one I had to get just because... I couldn't believe that they had this story as a book. So as you start to see the cover, you will, yes, recognize that this is Strange World. <laughs> and I was just so flabbergasted, really, that they would even have this as a book. Because, I don't know, I expected to see like something like Inside Out or something else. Mm -hmm. And I just love... They have, it starts with some pictures. It also has a fold out, um, fold out little piece here that's got the whole family on it. And it is completely in kanji, but it has contents pages. And then as you're reading this mini novel, you are treated to these adorable hexagon artwork that is shaped like the, the, um, playing card game that that Ethan's cute little boyfriend brings him. There they are. So, can I read it? No, but this looks really cool. We need someone to read it to us. Story time with who? <laughs> um, I'm also curious. I haven't asked you this. I just thought about it. Did you see anything there from Luca at all? No. No Luca representation. Nope, because when I saw this, I was like, let me see if they have Luca. Mm -hmm. And there was just a small little section. I can't remember what the other ones were, but it was like Frozen. I, one was Frozen. It was like things you would expect in Strange World. Yeah. And while we're talking about movies, let's just take a moment. Um, because of when this video is coming out, we have just seen uh, Elemental oh, this past week. Yes. And we haven't given our opinion on it, but I just would like to share with you, it's incredible. It is a very, very good movie. So. I um, I was very pleasantly surprised. I had a very good feeling about it to begin with, and I was also pleasantly surprised. It was not what I expected, and I cried a lot in it, which I will, I don't say, I do cry in movies, but I don't cry from like, for se several times in a movie. I cried several times, and it was not sad tears, and that's my favorite thing about it. It was joy tears the whole time. It's so good. <laughs> for the first time, it is not really a sad Pixar movie. But it's And it's I feel like so beautiful. many are sad. It's so beautiful. And it's and so simple. Yes. And they focus on the important characters. The for, details for the that they movie. put into the characters as well mm -hmm. is really, really cool. Yeah, it is just... I give it 10 out of 10. It might be my new Pixar my new Pixar favorite, but I'm going to give it some time before I really claim that. Yeah. Thank I, much. I just hope, I hope there's some good merch when we go to the parks. While you are watching this, we are either in the parks or on the way to the parks or have been to the parks and yeah. watching this video late. Um, and so we're hoping to find lots of elemental stuff around. Love it. 
Back to business. Um, Derek also found this adorable Alice in Wonderland little golden book in Japanese. Yeah. Um, it's obviously not a, an actual little golden book. It's just very much the same style. It even is in an American style of, oh. um, book. It yeah. opens... It opens this way. It opens the, the way that they do here in the States. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole book because I don't think any of us have time for that today, but it does do the entire story. Um, the highlight, obviously, will be... Oh, the house. The house. So cute. So um, pant. So pant. And obviously, we have to show this picture of them spilling the tea um, because that is so important. Um, but yeah, this whole book is in Japanese, so when I learn kanji, I will read it, and it will be wonderful, and you guys will enjoy that read aloud, but until then, I'm gonna know the story and look at the pictures. These next two items are a little out of our norm, but they are very special. This first one was one of those items that was handed to me, and I was told you need to buy this, and I sat there for a moment and said, do I? And as I sat here squeezing this Dale, it's a stress relief ball. I was just like, I think I need this for my desk at work. This and it just was melting away. Melted away. So I have this adorable little Dale that is going to represent my stress. Eric also came across the perfect plush for our friend. Um, we we're going to share it here because she does not watch this on YouTube, so it is not a danger. Um, he found this uh, alligator. Loki. Loki. It's super cute. It is called a zipper mouth um, because, believe it or not, it has a zipper for a mouth. So let's just check out the details of this baby real quick. His horns, he's really cute. His horns are made out of like a pleather mm -hmm. and his hat is sewn. Like it's very, it's such a cool piece and his eyes are fully embroidered. So this zipper mouth here opens right up. It is a little hard it's to open. So cute. But inside is the Loki for president button. Vote for Loki. Oh my gosh. Uh, I just could not pass it up. And it's, it is just, it is just the perfect gift for, for this friend. Next up, these are funny because uh, Derek told me he was in one of those cheaper, like kind of like Daiso type stores. And so I was like, hey, normally... Actually, were you in Daiso? It was Daiso. Derek was in Daiso, and I said, oh, they always have, like, really cool, interesting face masks that you can wear, and a lot of, like, characters and cool stuff, and he, at the time, pretended to care what I was saying, but he ignored me because he had already bought me a package of them that was better than I ever could have imagined. Um, so, in here, this is actually a box full, um, chalked full, more than we even knew at first, but we have some Aurora masks here. We have some Maleficent masks here. Um, the detailing on the box alone so has cool. different colored roses on either side for both character. And these are resealable pouches. Because there are seven masks in each of these. So I have four of these, each with seven masks in them. So there are 28 it's, masks total it in is this insane. box. It is insane. And it's just so beautiful. Now, um, this packaging is so pretty. Past Us is really excited for Future Us with those masks. Right? Oh, right! You know how at every Disney store, in the parks, everywhere, they always have a thing where they say, Oh, if you buy this, you can get this as well for cheaper, because you already spent this much money. So, um, they got me with one of those, and they got me with a, Hey, we have a special edition bag! It's still plastic, but do you want this one as well? So, of course, I got both. Um, the bag was only about 3 yen, I feel like, for... Sorry, I didn't mean to take it so you could share no, it. I just no, noticed... please share it. I saw... What did you notice on there? I had never noticed that Cheshire Cat there, I don't think. And it's really cool. That is, is that a frame? Really cool. It's a, a frame inside of it, yeah. I want that as a frame. So, on this bag, you see there's that. There's the Dalmatians, Genie, Duffy... A really cool version of the Hollywood Hotel um, Goofy. Not going to go through them all, but you can see that it covers Pixar. It the covers... The train is cute. Yeah. Oh, it's just so a lot of beautiful. Cool oh, Chip and Dale are even on there. They yeah. got everybody. And I'm pretty sure that this is actually in one of the stores. Oh, cool. It's like a decoration in one of the stores. And I know, I love that this... Oh, there it is. I love this poo is hanging by a microphone. <laughs> ShopDisney.jp yeah, super cool. And on the back, it is the Mickey and Stars. 
with the 30th anniversary. So I said yes. And then I said yes to buying a a large towel they, they consider. <laughs> um, so it is for, of course, the anniversary. And I'm just going to slowly scroll it up like it's uh, like it's credits. So we've got a nice little mini there with Daisy. The Bama. One of the main reasons I said yes. And we've got Goofy and Donald. And then it's going up and up. It's the and, pastels for me, man. Yeah, the pastels. And then we get to the bottom, and there is Chippendale and Mickey, of course. It's super cute. I really like it because it actually, I think it's this here, is really giving me the vibe of those um, Chippendale and Daisy unicorn pins from Oh, Shanghai. yes. But not only did he get this, he got an even better towel for us to Oh, I did. So Derek also was able to find this amazing towel that is... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It is probably what we would say is a hand uh, hand towel size. And this is not going to go in any bathroom. This is not going to go folded up in a closet. This is going to just go on our wall in some way. Yeah, it would and be, I guess I want this I, to be visible. I No, I think we can still make it visible. One of the best things about these towels is that they always put on these amazing kind of like border endings. And even the 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 celebration one has one. And so I feel like we could probably use that to our advantage to get it to hang up. Yeah. Or I can mat it in some way. I can f I will find a way to get that on our wall. If you're an expert in hanging towels like scrolls, please leave us a comment. Give us some tips. What do we do? What do we do? One of my most favorite things that Derek brought back from Japan, um, there's another thing he brought me that's not from Disney that you can see in another video, but uh, this one here is a print that is technically Disney. Technically it is. And I just found it in a department store. It is so beautiful. I cannot and wait I to find a frame it, for it. The colors and the just the way that like the pop of everything on there yeah. was really calling to me. And the shoes, I can't, everything. What, is, what does that mean? Um, I think that's the name of the artist. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, it's just really cool. It looks super artsy. One, I think it is going to be framed and put in this room. But two, oh no, it could go in the Alice corner. Yeah, we're working on an Alice corner of our kitchen. And she's in the kitchen because of tea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, we could get any color frame for that. And it would go with it. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so thanks. You're welcome. There were some things that he found out about and some things were total surprises. Um, and that was one of the surprises. Alrighty, so we are about to move on to opening up our blind items. I also wanted to share that I had such a fun time when I went to the Shibuya store. Um, one of the cast members was so kind and wrote me a note and we were just having so much fun chatting it up and talking about how much um, we loved different movies and how much we loved Zelda. <laughs> because that's very big over there right now and everywhere. And then I played rock, paper, scissors and won one of these cards. This one happens to have Stitch and you can see the holographic nature of it. And from what I remember and what I'm pretty sure is that these are collectibles. This is number three out of nine. I am holding this here long enough in case you feel like scanning that QR code. It's just going to take you to the Japanese version of Shop Disney and you won't be able to read any of it. But live your life. So live your life. Um, but she even asked me if I collected these at first and I was like, I don't know what those are. So I got my first one from her. Very cool. And now on to some unboxings. What do you want to start with? Oh, that's what my question to you was about to be. Uh, um, let's start with the magnet because there's only one of them. Okay. One magnet works. All right, cool. Do you want to open it? Um, let's show them again what it is. Okay. Um, so this is a breakfast item. Uh, I want the waffle. Um, I would really like the egg in the center like the yeah, sunny side up or the one with the bacon and bread 
Yeah, that's both of those would be my top choices. Yeah, the ones at the bottom aren't quite as exciting. That muffin. And There's a chocolate chip muffin and the other thing. I don't need a muffin. It looks like a glazed Look something. Um, do you want me to open it or you want to? Go ahead and open it. Yes. That's exciting. Oh, that's, that's really so cool. cool. The egg part is so cute. It's that mouse head. That's the best it Mickey is. head I've ever seen. And I just love that it is sideways on this magnet. Mm -hmm. if, if you put the magnet straight up and down, I mean, you can put the magnet any way you want to. But it is that raised, um, kind of like rubberized feeling. And just... I kind of like the toes so being sideways cute. and the Mickey head being straight up and down. That's probably how we'll put it on our refrigerator. That's so cute. I can't wait to put that down there. Yeah, that refrigerator. I'm glad we got that one. That's the best of them. I, I'm going to give it to him. I agree. Let's do these secret straps next because this is these are the ones that have um, Chip and Dale in them. And they also have lots of They do. And those are the ones we would be interested in. Um, these straps are very popular in Japan. They're just like charm style things you can put on your bags as you walk around on anything, really. Your phone cases, everything. I'm going to open first. I like that. All right. And, oh, just between cardboard. Okay. That's nice and easy. Oh, that's nice. Squeeze through and... You win! What a gift. It's Lotso! It's so cute! And he does come with this um, nice stretchy um, bit of elastic so that you can, you know, stick that through a zipper and pull him through and like put him on your fanny pack for Disney. Yeah. Or, and he's really cute. And it, like, he's a good size. Like, I would carry this on a regular bag all the time. Yeah, he's so cute! He's so, that's cute. And he's sturdy. Like, this he's, is a It's a nice, really it's cool. not. And the. I know I just keep talking about quality, but it does not feel like it's coming apart anytime soon. Yeah, I had a I say really I break cute, it. No, I'm just kidding. I had a really cute Alice in her teacup Funko Pop keychain that I loved so much, but I oh, dropped yeah. my keys one time and it broke the first oh. time I dropped them. I bet you could put him on your keys. Yeah, I think he would stand up and last. Um, all right. I already saw it. It's Pluto! Yay. He's really cute. He is cute. Um, I really like him. What a cute little guy. The little bodies are cute. They are really cute. They're super light and this springy, and I love that. I wish it would have been Dale. Yeah. Or Chip, but... Pluto! That's okay. I think the next thing we should open are the, the Donald Secret Charms. Once again, these are... They're just called Secret Charms. And inside of them, from what I remember, these were on display. They had um, Donald and Daisy, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It does say that there's six, so there may be like a chase of a different style of one of them. And these are charms as well. Maybe there's a Scrooge McDuck. <gasps> oh, if it was Scrooge, I would be so excited, but... I really just need Daisy. That's what I'm hoping for. Just here. Daisy. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay. It is oh, it's Huey. Huey. It's Huey. He's really cute. He is cute. Oh, and okay, these are cute. It looks like they've made them so that you can string them together as you get them. It's got oh, like one yeah. of those clips at the top. So if you look here, it's just like a, like a bracelet clip. And then a, a whole, like a little ring at the bottom. That's right. But really you can cute. also just click it onto whatever you wanted to and then hang something else off of it. Yeah, it's also light. So the perfect kind of keychain. And I think we'll stand up. Yeah, like, I mean, the box itself is super, super yeah, it's light. Rubbery. it's rubbery. All right, so. I barely could see anything, but the top of it means you should open it, I think. I think. It's a reflective envelope, and I saw early. Oh, it's pink. Yay! Yes. It's I saw that pink in the background. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Oh, she is gorgeous. That's perfect. That is coming with me to Disney. It's going to be worn with this shirt. I love it. No, Even those are her shoes, and sh she's not wearing the same outfit, I guess. That reflective re envelope gave it away, but it makes me so happy. Oh, she's so cute. I'm so Oh, she's happy. perfect. You got her and Lotso. We're on a winning streak here. Everything you wanted and more. I shouldn't have said that so soon. We're doomed for what is to come. I know. All we have left are our cat keychains. So, um... We showed these earlier. We've got Dinah, Lucifer, Gideon, and Figaro at the top. At the bottom, Berlioz, Cheshire, Cat, Marie, and Toulouse. I would really like to get Lucifer. Um, if I was to get one of the Aristocats, I feel like I would need all of the Aristocats. So I know that's not possible because I only have two of these. Um, I know who you want, but go ahead and say it. I want Dinah. He wants Dinah. I also um, would be happy with a Cheshire cat and... You know, I would be Super. happy with any of them except... Gideon. Except Gideon. Yeah, same. I mean... Get, it's, um, someone out there... Comment down below if you've got some Gideon love. Show that Gideon love if yeah. you've got some. Be proud. Oh, be proud. All right. You want that one or you want this one? I want this one. I'm already working on tearing this thing open. Like... He means business. I mean business. All right. Oh, it's in nothing. So it's just going to be there. Oh! Oh, yay! It's Dino! That's so... Oh, I love it. Oh. Just look. I You're going to need a minute to take that in. Oh, it's the best one possible. Look at her. It is really cute. She's so cute and very high quality. Um, it's a very nice embroidery. Um, the detail. It's of, almost like it's a patch. Just, yeah, it is a patch. That's Like the back has a nice, it has a really nice backing on it. What a cool keychain. Um, I already started to get this you one. You can oh, open that one. Are I got you one. sure? Yeah, I got All one. All right. Hey, that's a win right there. So Cheshire Cat. I like the detail in just a keychain that was that's insane to me. What a victory! I got everything I wanted in these mystery. <laughs> you did. Japan loves you so much. Thank I mean, Japan. I'm sorry. I did get my toast yeah, and eggs. Good. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be curious about our content, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below or off with your head. And if you enjoyed this video, which we really hope you did, mm -hmm. please give us a thumbs up. Yeah, Derek traveled all the way to Japan for this video. I did, you. just for you. Yeah, um, leave us a comment down below. What is your favorite thing that we opened up today? What is your favorite thing that we opened today? <laughs> There's a lot, because... I have mine. I... Share. <laughs> no, um, yes, go ahead. I mean, mine was easy. I knew before filming this video, my favorite. Okay, is okay. I, I, I agree. That it's that super is cool. I love that. But I, oh, okay. Easy. My Rescue Rangers cup. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I, this might make appearances in a lot of videos now. Like, mm -hmm. you might just find me drinking from a Rescue Rangers cup. Always drinking from that cup. However, I feel like there is one item, even though you make fun of me for choosing multiple things, I think there is one that is like, these are our favorite things, but there is one that would reign supreme. The stained glass towel, y'all. I just... It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. There's nothing it, like it. It's so... Yeah. So I wish that thing. I wish that we could just like let you all feel it and no not keep your it grubby up. hands off of it yeah keep your grubby hands off of it and until you do get your hands on one of those we hope you have a golden <laughs> afternoon yeah when once you have that golden afternoon it'll all be over bye y'all bye see you later see ya. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.